Welcome back everyone. Happy Friday to you. Here's a quick look at the sky cam. It's just cloudy outside and we've already had some rain moving through. So now let's go ahead and begin the forecast. So rain was passing through southeast Arkansas, northeastern Louisiana earlier, and the rain has continued to shift up through the Mississippi Delta across I-55. So while we're having just a little break in the rain, we still have more on the way as we continue through our Friday. But the main time frame is still for this afternoon and also for this evening. Look at our, looking at our current temperatures around the southeast is 69 in Little Rock, 72 in Dallas, and 58 in Chattanooga. And our temps right here in the Delta are in the mid to upper 60s. So again, a warmer morning than it was for the last few mornings of this week. We had some cooler air continuing to move in and now that warmer air start returning into the area yesterday due to southerly and southeasterly wind flow. So we are 18 degrees warmer at this time this morning than we were at this time yesterday morning. 21 degrees warmer in El Dorado and also in Bastrop, Louisiana. Looking at our dew points, those are also higher, of course, because this warm, moist air has been moving in. So more moisture is present in the air this morning, and that's helping our dew points to be higher as well. Now our winds are from the south-southwest at 9 miles per hour in Greenville, south-southeasterly at 28 in Greenwood, and south-southeasterly at 14 in Vicksburg. And winds are gusting up to 22 miles per hour in Winona, gusting up to 46 at this time in Greenwood, and gusting up to 18 in Monroe, Louisiana. We do still have the severe weather threat, but now it has adjusted. So for the last day or two, we were seeing an enhanced risk covering the North mid and North Delta while the slight risk was covering the South Delta. But now that moderate risk has shifted a little further south to include our North Delta counties. And this is like Cahoma County looks like just the northern tip of Bolivar County and also Cahoma. Cahoma and Quitman counties and Panola counties as well. So that moderate risk has now shifted a little further south. So we do still have the threat for severe thunderstorms. That's very likely along with damaging wind gusts being very likely. And we also cannot rule out hail and unfortunately tornadoes. So as I've been saying for the last couple of days, not something that we want to hear, especially considering what happened last Friday, but all modes of severe weather are possible for later today and for tonight. We also have this wind advisory and that expiration time has been extended until midnight. So the expiration time was already for 1 a.m. for our North Delta counties, but now it's been extended to midnight for our mid and South Delta counties. So again, winds will continue to gust up more so throughout our day. Highs will be around 80. Wind gusts will be around 45 miles per hour or just a little bit higher. And it's already gusting up to 46 in Greenwood this morning, just like what you saw in that previous graphic. And our overnight lows will be near 60. We'll still have windy conditions, still have showers and thunderstorms occurring just as that cold front is moving through. But Saturday will be a nicer weather day. Highs will be in the mid 70s. It will be mostly sunny, still a little breezy with winds from the west southwest around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Then becoming northwesterly. That will be that cooler air moving back into our region. Looking at your future tracker, so this cold front will, will continue to push east towards us throughout today. It should reach our area by late tonight. And then once that front moves out, We'll have the clouds clearing out, rain clearing out as well. But again, as we go out throughout the rest of our day, make sure you're already prepared with your severe weather plan and also make sure you have a way to receive severe weather notifications. Now, as we get to Saturday again, nicer weather will be returning. But then as we get to Sunday, it'll still be mostly dry, but we'll start to have some rain and thunderstorms too, moving back in by Sunday night due to another short wave trough that'll be moving into the area. So just to do a little recap before I get to seven day forecast, tune into the National Weather Service offices for Jackson and Memphis. Of course, watch our newscast for updates, social media posts, have a weather radio again, have multiple ways to receive severe weather alerts for later today and also for tonight. Now this weekend, nicer weather, rain returning again by Sunday night, and we have rain chances in the forecast every day next week. And another cold front will most likely be here during the middle of next week. So stay safe, stay alert. Have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend.